Oh boy. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Magic the Gathering online Vintage Cube Draft Arena with Mike Arino, Barbob Larino. We did it, boys. We opened this Mox Emerald, boys. I'm going to take it. Or we could take... What if we took the worst card in every pack? What if we did a stipulation draft where we took the worst card in every pack? We could do that. I am not answering my eyes. Hey, it's old answering my eyes, Johnson. <laughs> Maybe next draft we'll do that. Take the worst. Yeah, I think we're going to do a regular one this time with this Mox Emerald. And the next the next draft, we're going to do a stipulation where we take the worst card in every pack. Wow, this pack's really good, though. Blightsteel, Natural Order, and Metamorph. Hmm. Also Vampiric Tutor. I didn't even see that, which is very good. I think it's just metamorph though. A herald to our a herald hero herald to our lord sauntering Raphalos. Raphalos. What'd you say? I like metamorph. I do like metamorphu. I think it's metamorphu. I don't like natural order because you have to like commit to green. And it has to be a green creature that you get. And Blightsteel is just not able to reanimate. He's just too restrictive as far as the big dude goes. And if our opponent has it, we can just copy it, so that's cool. Well, this is an interesting packerino. How are you guys? How are you guys doing today? Got downfall. Got some lands. If we took a downfall, we'd have a Mox Emerald of Heroes downfall and Metamorph, which is basically Sultai. I like Oracle of Moldia though. It's a pretty good one. It's a pretty good one. We also take Tundra. We don't know for white though. Mm. I think white is criminally underrated. I do like staying open, though. I don't really want to commit to any of these, per se. You like the tundra? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I think that's a good pick. Oh, hokey dokey. Gideon Jura is a good dude. Mole Drifter is a good dude. Land Tax is a good dude. Mole Land. M Mole Tax is a good dude. Mole Tax, huh? Land Drifter, also good. I think Land Drifter sounds better. You like Mulder Drifter over Land Tax? And we got an Emerald, we can just pay, play it early. I can never say no to a Mole Drifter. Plus we're not white, but we are blue. Well, no, we're not blue either, I guess. I guess what we're nothing strong, right now. What's the strongest card in this pack, then? Probably still Mole Drifter, right? I think it's still Mole Drifter. I don't like Top very much. Maybe Gideon's technically more powerful, but... Meh. He's also bad in certain matchups. I don't think I'm passing on old dirty moles. Old dirty moles. Oh, do we get them? Oh, look at this—the twofer. The get them package. The old, the old, the old get them adopter early adopter package. I like thirst for knowledge, especially because we have two artifacts already. Seems fine. Yeah, you like thirst? You like old thirsty bastard? Yeah, four spike probably. Take OTB. It. Oh, I like a duplicate. I like Duplicate because it exiles everything, including Eldrazi and uh, Blightsteel. You're right. And it's colorless. Works with our Thirst. I can, cannot tell why. You can copy with Metamorph. Oh! I feel like we're just the Artifact deck at this point. Artifact, Artifact, Artifact. Relevant to Artifacts. And Artifact. It's a good one. I think it's the best sword, right? It's up there. Oof. Image. Look at these blue cards, man. Blue's open, which is super rare. I think it's image over Riffling Cloudscape, right? Yeah, I think image is better. All right. Oh, cryptic tabled, boy. Cryptic shackles and the shackles tabled. Down. That's weird, I man. I know it's better. Surprise! To the surprise of no one, we did not take the gutter snipe. That's weird, dude. Is it shackles? I think shackles is better. I also think we're gonna. Yeah. Oh my god! I can't believe this. I can't even get over it. Just take the land. Really? Yeah. Well, we want islands. I think we're just taking the Gideon. 
just in case we're white. I'd rather like. Parallax wave is way better. From yeah, white. parallax wave is good. <sighs> Cryptic and and shackles in the same pack. They did us dirty. I can see Cryptic being better in the Vintage Cube. Counter spells are pretty good. But I think it's worth keeping in mind that like this has good synergy with Thirst. It has good synergy with Metamorph in the decks that it matters. There's definitely decks that just can't beat the Shackles. There's definitely decks that just can't beat us. Sass me, boy. How dare you talk to me like that? Like that's the acrylic latex caulks. Oh, use acrylic latex caulk for long-term projects. Use silicone caulk for tough jobs and extreme temperatures. So latex is just what we wanted. Huh. Doug the bug. Wow. I like Marin Crusader. For white, it's pretty good. I like the Gideon. I also don't think we want double white early. Also, someone on YouTube. So our eighth draft is the one uh, where you do the stipulation where you pick all the cards. Mm -hmm. On Vintage Draft 7, someone commented and said, you do a stipulation where Mike picks all the cards and you build the deck. And I was like, that's literally the next draft. Wow. Ooh, man, Tithe. Get him. Get him. This is these are real interesting. We'll take legions. I mean our blue white deck is not terrible right now. No. But our mono blue deck is also pretty good. Bribery. No. Oh, bribery it is. Oh yeah. A grave titan, though. I love a big bribs. What? Over bribery? Probably not. What are you what kind of maniac are you? Bribery is basically power, right? It's a five mana titan. <laughs> hmm. I'm looking for us here, really. Hmm. Blue deck's not going to be able to play this guy. Mm -mm. Two is pretty strong. It's like the strongest card in the pack, I think. I think it's the strongest card, but I don't think we're going to be playing black. Maybe. We have no black cards, and we have a shoot ton of white cards. So you want to take, like, Knight of the Wild Worker instead? Bribery is the uh Show me what you got card. Do I take what? Knight of the White Orchid? I might just want to take Pestermite. Just a value creature. Well, if we get any of the other pieces, I can see us just playing that. Did you move my answer? No, but I can. <laughs> That's so weird. Or Duretti. Ooh. Do we play Duretti? Spaghetti. Do we play the Duretti, like, artifact deck? I think he's really slow. But I think you're really slow, and that wow. doesn't really... Wow. Wow. I took it. I took it. Oh, Telerian Academy. This is definitely an Academy deck. If it's an Academy deck, it's also a Duretti deck. False. True. Nah, man. Very spaghetti. It's too slow. We did get tacos tonight. How did he know that? How did he know that? Oh, control magic? It's a good one. Oh, zealous conscripts. Also a good one. I think it's control magic. Control or is it magic. zealous? Zealous is so good, though, dude. I just take control magic. I also hope that the uh, the mirror battle here comes back. That would be gas. Ooh, Tinker. Whoop, 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 whoop. What are we tinkering into? We'll find out. See, if I said tinker, you'd be like, well, we, don't even have, we don't even have anything to tinker into. But when it's a card you want, oh, I, we'll just be, we're sure to get something. The rules work in my favor at all times. All right, I think it's the strongest card, and I, I think we're just going to take it. Ghosty? Yeah, if we're going to be white, if we end up white, we definitely want Ghosty. I mean, I think we're gonna. No, no, maybe. No, no, maybe. No, 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 no. Today, Junior. Not today, Junior. T -t 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 today, Junior. 
All right, I took Coasty. Coast Malone. <laughs> I mean, right now we're tink tinkering in a duplicate. We got one two drop right now. So? I'm just saying it's not ideal. Why? Because it's... Because we need more tinker. Because we need more two drops, Michael. Do we? Hollow Fountain. I mean... This is a lot of good fixing for our blue deck. Or for our blue-white deck. Yeah, Hall of Fountain's also an island, which is pretty sick. I agree, and that means we have both blue-white lands. I would love this Sun Titan, but I think we're just taking this. Oh, God, the Sun Titan's so good with image, though. Yeah. It's like the classic combo. Yeah, the old Sun Titan into image, which gets Sun Titan into something yeah. else. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Bro, bro, bro. That was good. Wall of Omens. Go with Sun Titan. We didn't get the Sun Titan. The old table. <laughs> I don't even think that would work. Actually, maybe it will. Holy crap. What if it does? That'd be great. Sun Titans in the stream. That is what we are. Tinker we sucks tinker in the metamorph. Probably yeah, thing. that's a good play. It's a fantastic play. Didn't the didn't the wasn't the blight still in this pack? This pack that was our very first. That was pack two, pick two, Dang it. pack one, pick two. Should have took it. Disagree. What if we take over it? I don't know. Someone tell us what we took over blight steel. Wow, grave titan. Wog. I think it is. I think it is Wrath of God. We never play the Wrath of God deck. This is definitely a Wrath of God deck. Eh, I like old Knight of the White Orky. The Knight Orky. <laughs> Happy New Year, Matthew Ori. Oh, look at this! Look at all these white cards coming back, man. God, maybe the, the Sun Titan does come back. I've seen more ridiculous thing happen. So have I. About a Spanish tinker, a GP for a dollar fifty. No regrets. Seems good. I'll take a Leon and Relic Order. This guy was actually good for us yesterday. It ended up nabbing an Oath of Druids. Ooh. That's which good. which would have been some shenanigans. Got a nab on the haters. I always nab on those haters. Oh, we took an Image or Blight Steel. Okay. Oh, Mother of Runes. Deck's not that aggressive, but that's still so late. Wow, two white cards. Not like a priest. Really? Over Revelark? Revelark gets back image, gets back fan metamorph, mull drifter. Well, we took it, so don't worry about it. It gets back duplicant. Gets back so both of these guys. It gets back every creature in our deck. Wow, that was all Dude, the white cards are so Oh, what up, baby? Got a soul ring. Oh, girl. Also very good with Academy. Also very good with everything. Every yes. card in our deck is good with it. Except for the double white card. And the single colorless cards. But otherwise, it's great. We should do a stipulation draft for Mike B. Dabs and you have to build the deck. Elspeth, low, dig through time? What? That's too low. Should be higher? No, no, you gotta have the, you gotta do it like that. It should be. Oh, this, this is gotta go over the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Dab. Proper dab techniques, everybody. There you go. Okay, okay, that's good. I can see. Yeah, that's good. That looked better. Is it Elspeth? I think it's just Elspeth. Yeah. I don't think we're in Academy deck. Maybe we still are. Look at this colonnade, man. I see it. That's four fixing lands. It's real good. There's also a mentor. I don't think we're a mentor deck. Maybe we are. I don't know. I like the colony better. I got. I love this. Oh, stone four G, and, and a swords. Fire, nice. Oof. A little rough. 
We only have one weapon so far. It's a pretty good one. It is, and I bet we can get a second one. But is it is it, is it better than sword? I think so. I think it's a more powerful card. I agree with you. White's been really open, so I wouldn't be surprised if any of that table. So. Marsh Flats gets us both Hollowed Fountain and Tundra, which is pretty good. It's probably worth it. There's nothing really else in this pack. Man, we were heavy blue, and now I feel like we're just heavy white. Yeah, we're definitely playing more white. We have cards. six white cards, six blue cards in our deck now. Feels like the blue's getting cut. Which, Which is, is weird because it was super open. That's what I was just gonna say. Yeah. Oh, ah, man. Oh, if we had Sun Titan, we could have Jace Sun Titan. Uh... I still like Jace here. Yeah, I think it's the pick. Frost Titan, that's a dude. That is a dude. Frost Titan's great. Especially when you have Soul Ring Mox Emerald. My nickname in high school, Heavy White. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Good times, good times. I'm going to cut this Talarian Academy. Yeah, I don't think it's quite worth it. It's really close with Mox Emerald and Soul Ring. But uh, we don't have any two mana artifacts. I'll cut the Thirst, too. We had like two signets. Probably we're just not an artifact deck anymore, yeah. which is really sad because we were. And now we're not. We got that early tinker too. It wasn't that early. It was early. It was like mid pack two. Your mother's mid pack two. Yeah, I know. Yeah, she knows too. Does she? I don't know. Okay, it was a good talk. Islands in the sea. Oh! What up, Batter Skull? Okay, that's actually insane. Nice. That's a good sword. You might say it's the best of swords. That's pretty insane. All right, cool. All right, we did it, boys. Spyglass? Yeah, I think it actually is Spyglass. I think it's actually pretty good. Like, if we can name Sneak Attack or something. That's a reasonable sideboard card. Currently. We also have five dual lands, five fixing lands. That's great. I think we play that lean on Arbiter. Um, it's just like it's gonna be good almost every time. Yeah, but we already have to make a cut. No, we don't actually. Mox Emerald is a land. All right, so this is our deck though. But like, what do we play it over? I think it's better than Knight. Your mom is Batter Skull. Oh, hmm. that was courtesy of Matthew Ori. I saw it. Okay. I have eyeballs. I uh, can can I milk them? Yes, you can milk eyeballs. I don't you can want... milk anything. Oh, gross! All right, we'll take this Vryn wing mare. You can milk anything. How do you know that? I just do. Where did you get your milking knowledge from? My dad. What up, Robbie? Robbie, old Robbie, Robbie Rob, Robert Roberto, Robbie Roberto Robertson. Okay. I don't think he's that great for us, but. You literally want to take him the first time. Now we want to, you didn't want to take him the second time? Well, now we're super creature based. I don't know. I really want to play that parallax wave. You said you do? Yeah. Uh, Could you cry about it instead? Sure. Okay. How do you get Power 9 plus Soaring? You draft infinite times, and for every 99 times you don't get it, you get it once. That's how you do it. Sounds about right. Can't even counter Supreme Verdict. You're right. Now we have Wrath and Supreme Verdict. Be a creature deck for us. I dare you. Probably not playing Shackles anymore. You're probably right, which is really sad. Oh, 10 months with the Illusions Donate GG. Thank you, buddy. You are awesome. Um, this card's actually not terrible. It's probably pretty bad, but it's not It's not terrible. I just I just hit the mic. M -m 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 mic. How many ways do we have to trigger the Mentor? Let's find out. It's any non-creature spell, right? I think so. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. A 
11, including Mox Emerald. It's not bad. No, it's like, it's not bad. Yeah, maybe we do play it. I think triggering it twice is worth it. Well, it's great because like all your you, like your future plays, you can go Elspeth into Gideon, and then you trigger it twice. Plus, it's just guys to hold a sword, so. Yeah. This looks like the deck, I think. Yeah. Ooh, now we have five duels. Yeah, it's really good. One of them is a man land. Yeah, 6-5 seems fine with me. This like 11 10 or something like that? Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 5, 6, 7, yeah, it's 11, 10. <laughs> seems good. Yeah, this deck seems awesome. I don't think you had, Dale Ellington, I don't think you had all these nicknames, buddy. I'm real suspicious. So next draft we're going to do the terrible draft? Yeah, um... Yeah, next draft we'll draft the worst card in the pack. Oof. It's going to be a red deck. <laughs> it's it's going to be hard because it's I think... Be it's it's going to be hard to have a consensus on what the worst card in the pack is, you know? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> I think it'll be really easy to tell. You'll be like, oh, it's easily Rift Bolt here. Just pick the red ones. That's all you need to know. Okay, well, that's biased. Oh, keep... This is a snapper. Turn two, uh... Turn two Mentor, or... Uh, yeah, just turn to Mentor, I guess. And if we draw another planes, turn two Mentor, or turn three Elspeth. That's pretty good. You're not wrong, Mitchell. I'm almost tempted to keep the soul ring just so I can trigger Mentor. It's real greedy. Not only is it greedy, it slows us down by like three turns. Also, if we draw a land, we could just do turn two Elspeth, which might actually just be better. Uh, that's pretty good. I have a thought seize. No, it's nice. It's gonna be an island watch. We need those eventually. If it's a colony, that'd be okay. That's not what we're looking for. It's not what Papa wants. That is not what Daddy's looking for. We could actually metamorph the Sol Ring. That's pretty cool. Then we can just play Revelark. Oh, Revelark gets back this guy, this guy, or this guy, this guy, and this guy. Our land split is 6-5, so 11 sources of white, 10 sources of blue. Diabolic Edict? He won't. The problem is we don't have much disruption. So if our opponent just goes like in tomb reanimate here, we're just like I guess yeah, we can we copy played, it, we but later fair deck. That's what happens. Tutor. Here we go. Playing a draft where we blindly switch off every other pick. How do you how would you do that though? Switch off would mean like I make a pick, then Mike makes a pick, then I make Ooh, a pick, then Mike makes a pick. that's interesting. AFK draft where you just let the let it all auto pick. Ooh, that would be interesting. I don't know if you have a playable deck. Oh, block out the bottom of the screen. Like so, I'll make a pick, and then Mike wouldn't look, but then he'll make a pick. Oh, oh, that was such a good draw. Oh, oh boy. So good. Elspeth will make you jump, jump. You feel like it's jump. Six your face. Don't you remember I had an Elspeth baby? But didn't do it do. Now if he tutored for like talks a deluge, it doesn't actually matter. Because we have an Elspeth? Yeah. Oh, I see. Grave Titan? Something scarier than Grave Titan? He has six mana. Oh, God. Great! Oh, I see. Okay. That's pretty good. Really? Can't we just, like, 
kill that? We just can metamorph it. I mean, they used a tutor, a lotus, and... Yeah, I think we're fine. Give me a land. I want to be able to duplicate eventually. <laughs> that's, that's not what we're looking for, ladies and gentlemen. Gonna copy your worm, do 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 do, and that's the end. What up, PTV? Well, they're missing land. They missed a land. No, they didn't miss land drop. They might miss a land drop. Oh, they didn't miss land drop. <laughs> what an emotional roller coaster that was, man. My favorite thing is all the YouTube comments where people are like, oh man, there was this perfect X deck going around, and you're like, yeah, I mean, that's going to happen all the time. No attacks. I like it. Can I just give this guy floats? Yes. That seems really good. Can I get an island now? Can I get a witness? Also, if you kill this guy, Revelark is able to bring back Phantasmal Image, or uh, Metamorph and Monastar Mentor, which is pretty good. And the best part about Revelark is it's whenever it leaves play. So if they exile it or if they bounce it, like, still triggered. Still counts. Revelark stays triggered. Playing normal vintage since I only have 80 play points. Man, those 20, those 20 play points. Come on, just let me draw my card. Ah! Uh, Maria. Uh, Maria. Wait, 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 wait. Don't jump it with Elspeth. It'll die. No, it's not Phantasmal Image, dude. It's Metamorph. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's like, why would it die? Don't want to make that mistake. No, it would literally say on the card, it would say, like, when this is targeted, kill it. Instead, it's an artifact. It's pretty jumbled from where I'm sitting, so. It's pretty jumbled. Here, I'll bring it up over here. I don't know if that helps any. That doesn't really help. Whatever, man. Can you just go to my draw step, man? He's thinking. What's the holdup, Joaquin? Joaquin Phoenix, 006. You're like the one of James. Good, that'd be good, James Bond. I'd watch it. Really? You think Joaquin Phoenix would be a good James Bond? Why not? I don't know. It doesn't. He doesn't seem actiony. He was in that Dark Tower. Travesty. Oh, uh, unfortunately, Channel Fireball doesn't give me any sips when I sip my drink. I just want to. I just want to draw my card. Don't we have happen. 24 minutes. They have 20 minutes. How they've taken four minutes than us, I do not know. Is that Dark Tower movie out yet? Why, so we can illegally torrent it and because it's not worth watching uh, in theaters? You mean allegedly illegally torrent it? <laughs> you don't know my IP address? Because I do want to see it. I just didn't want to go spend money on it. Yeah, I didn't get good reviews. Oh my god, I just want to draw my card. I mean, sometimes Rotten Tomatoes is wrong. It's rare, but... See, Matthew Ori liked it. My dog's name is Pig with the sub. Thanks so much, buddy. Nice. Welcome back. You are awesome. Much love. Welcome in. Much love. And I lost two subs again. This is unbelievable. The swatter on the way to your house. I won't let you break the law. <laughs> this is mental damage. This is anguish right here. Oh, we did it. Oh, that's actually that's a good. good. One. That's a good one. That's a good one, boy. Massacre worms gonna hit, hit the airwaves. It's my massacre worm hitting the airwaves. Put you to five hitting the airwaves. Why does he keep saying that? I don't know. Nobody does. I wonder if it's just Brimaz here. Welcome in Much Love is definitely gimmick infringement. Oh, my bad. I don't know if I want to take two here. It might just be Brimaz. Yeah, we're having double. No, I don't think we need to play a Le River Arc. Big Brims. Oh, can I say hi to Mike for you? Hey, Mike. Andrew Fight said hi. 
I ain't do fight. Just so you know. I definitely don't think me not playing Blue Tron is why I'm losing subs. Just, just a guess. This is taking so long. It's unbelievable. Epo, e what's going on? Those are from cookies I spilled. I was wondering what that was about. Maybe that's why the ants are coming. Yeah, clearly you're a cookie crumbler. Can your nurple mic for me? <laughs> um, what does that mean? I don't think so. I'm gonna I'm gonna veto nurpling mic because I don't know what that is. Sounds deadly. Yeah, that's fine. I'll stay in by you. Should I just wait during their upkeep and make them not draw their card? Let's go back to the beginning of the round where I said, uh, no, just dude, we're just both OO. -oh. Because sometimes it actually says if they're double queuing. So I guess they're not double queuing. Okay, Ferd, I see you in there. I see you creeping. I would love to play jazz, but that makes me unable to put these on YouTube. And people can't watch the VODs. So, multiple reasons why. Just play your own smooth jazz. <laughs> we'll play it for you. <laughs> yeah, you know this jam. That's a little wham. I'm never going to dance again. <laughs> okay, we're not even getting out of our end step. We can't troll them and put them in the draw step because we can't even get out of our own end step. And you're never going to dance again. Guilty feet. They got no rhythm. They have no rhythm, dude. The way I dance with you. <laughs> it's a good jam. Tasty lick. Rip Michael. Uh, what was his name? George Michael. Yes. You can tell because he has the same, he's the same name as Michael Sarah's character in uh, Arrested Development. I don't know what's more careless, that whisper or this guy's clock management. <laughs> it's probably the clock management. Oh, I guess they just lose. Okay. Thought well. about it. Gave up. That would have been good. Frost Titan, tap your tap your doozle down. Tap your doozle. Down. That's a howdy doozle to you. Oh, they got Masquerum is real scary against certain Masquerum is actually terrifying in this in this cube because there's so many strategies that go wide. I don't think we go that wide. That's what you think. I mean we have Elspeth, we have Legion's Landing, we have Monastery Mentor. He had to turn man. He ain't gonna draw again. Oh, I guess you're right. What was I thinking? I don't know. You're real dumb. And I can hear Felipe from here coughing. Uh huh. Or sneezing or whatever. It's he's he's very loud. Yep. This yeah. hand is great. It's pretty, pretty juicy, especially and on the draw because. Of yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. I did a weed smoking thing there, but yeah. What did you? Oh, like this. Oh, that's real sad. I don't know why you did that either. Yeah, I know you went out. I took you. I saw you. Cannot trick me. Oh, that's unfortunate. I yeah, you didn't even notice. What what do you take here? All of our hand is good though. Take my legions landing. Thanks to your vintage cube comp. I was just kidding, because that was like the weakest card in the hand. Interesting. What do you think? Legion's what? Landing? Why? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I'm That's like... by far the worst card in the Huh? Oh, we're just going to get Hollow Fountain Let's here. Let's get Thinny. Thanks to your vintage cube confidence in green. I drafted green today with a silver red. I went 1-2, just barely losing to a storm. It was super fun and more exciting. Than... Nice. I'm not sure if 1-2 is good for you or not, but um, I'm glad you had a good time. I have oh, no sorry. idea why they took Legion's Landing. That's a howdy doodle there. 
Who is this? A, you... a baby cakes. I wanted to, you know. Who is this? Do you know who this is? My dad. And his dad. <laughs> this guy with the black lotus every game. Well, I'm gonna play my six drop now. Five drop. Was this really scary for them? You think? Oh, mind twist for four. Oh, but we have image that you actually saw. Well, that means they can play around it better. This is very interesting. These decisions are very interesting. Give me that old holly. Holly, holly, holly. No. Why would you take this? Also, why did you blow your lotus when you, you could have just played it next turn, right? No, wait, it was two more turns. <laughs> That's not how mana works, Michael. You're right. You're right. If you see any answer around here, let me know. Okay, I'll let you know. Do it. Do it. All right, now we're at the end step. We're at your end step. Was that me or Hunt? I don't think that was me. Was it me? Did I burp? I'm just copying this guy. Seems good. I'm never gonna dance again. Maybe you just lost just because you didn't want to. You didn't want us to get our uh, land off white, white orchid. But next turn they do that. They play land, and then we go night orchid, get a land, play a land, stone forge. So that doesn't really do anything. Maybe it doesn't. I don't mind opponent quality being very opponent quality being variable. I just like to win and do cool stuff. Those are those I are my like goals. I like to win. I like to crush my opponent. I like to see the fear in his eyes. I do too. How weird. Peter, what are you being so needy for? That's because you're paying attention to him. That's why. Just ignore him. He's so happens. cute. Oh god, they're gonna they're tutoring. The old black lotus demonic tutor every game. A, a sal a salad. Be nice. A mus mustang salad. A Mustang salad? Is that what you're going to go for? It's not what I was going to go for, Michael. It's what I went for. Failed. You failed. I know. Oh, did they just... Did they just get it and then, like, not... Weird. No snap trade here. Oh, 100% trade. No? You didn't want to trade? You didn't want to trade... Okay. Okay, this is the same price. <laughs> how many how many desecration demons can we make? This guy. Oh look, I have a black lotus too. Only it's not a black lotus; it's a plains, and it's only one third of black lotus. But I get to keep it forever. So don't even try to make me feel bad about my myself. I'm gonna get my blue green sword. And waste the chance that I've been given. I'm just going to swing for six here. Totally fine with trades. Yeah, if we trade, then they traded a Black Lotus and a Desecration Demon for a Phantasm Image. What are they here for? Probably a removal spell like a Hero's Downfall they're going to play right now. Are you ready? I can't Michael hear you. B's ready. I can't hear you. Aye, aye, Captain. Can you tell me who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Michael B. It's true, I do. Michael B. Oh, that's 100% schools. Yeah, you're never going to use the same textbook twice. Unless they get real lazy or they just forget. God, textbooks are such a racket, dude. They're, they're, they're the worst racket of all time. Which is, which is surprising because it's school. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, you think they can at least make the books cheap? It's already so expensive to go to college. Your mom goes to college. She doesn't. So you didn't block, but you also didn't attack. Interesting. Oh, you're going to do something here. Four mana. Okay. It's still good. It's an okay keep. 
So they have two cards, we have one card. Now we have two cards as well. The wasteless chance that I've been given. Gonna attack into your demon. No, I'm not gonna sacrifice to kill your to do your thing. Ba 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 da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba I bet they don't even know they have batter skull, or we don't have we don't know we have batter skull. You know what I'm saying? They're at eight right now. Good lord. Not expensive in Sweden. Going to law school for free. Yeah, that's one of the many things Sweden has over us. MBN. Must be nice. For free? Man. Whoo! It's a deal. Am I right? It's real good. Do you hear that, dude? Oh, I hear him. He is ridiculous, dude. Oh, now I'm just going to tap this guy down forever. Kills him. You got it. The way I dance with you. I'll tap your guy down right now. I'll tap so you for a million points. Murder's cut or you die? <laughs> yeah. Murderous cut or you dead. Fatal push, I guess, is also an option. Nope, they dead. I have no idea what just happened there. That was a good one, too. Now I can jump my hoo-hoo-hoo. Oh, he would die. You can jump my hoo-hoo-hoo. You heard me. I don't know why you're like this. I did. Explain why you're like this. Oh, you also forgot about dim meatballs, too. It's another important part. Good to see the iconic duo of Ghost Dad and Michael Bibbly Boo Boo back at it again for some cube action. I thought you were Ghost Dad. Who knows? hard to keep up huh but i'm definitely ghost dad yeah that's what i mean look how excited we get when we open ancestral recall now i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to respond to this and be like oh show enough with the sub thank you so much man really appreciate it you are awesome welcome to the salt hybrid show enough indeed also, if you guys ever miss any of these drafts or you want to catch them again because they're so cool, head on over, head on over to the YouTubes and you can uh, check them out at youtube.com slash Frank Lepore. That's my name. Mike is baby ghost. I'm okay, dad. I'm going to play first. This hand's fine. What do you want to start with, Mom? Ask my mom. Probably start with Legion's Landing. But we want Mom to be untapped, right? Don't we want Mom to be active as soon as possible? I'm okay, Mom. I don't like you anymore. Mike's never gonna dance again. I chopped his legs off. They're in the wood chipper. Then you chip them off. No, I chop them off, and then I put them in the wood chipper. So, yeah, they're oh, chopped and okay. chipped. Chop and a chip. little chop and chip. Show enough. Thank you so much for saying so, man. I really appreciate it. You are awesome. Oh, look at this. Oh, I got a one drop, too. I'm a green guy. <laughs> Am I right? Sure. Yeah, I'm right. Don't be like this. What up, Thunder and Bumpkin? That's a big dude. That's a big dude. Huh? I'm actually going to attack here because you're playing green, so what do I care? Danger, Will Robinson. Never going to dance again. Why is Now this song, stuck, this song is stuck in my head now. It's your own fault. I've always assumed Mike B was a centaur. Okay. I can't confirm nor deny that. I can confirm it. But I could also deny it. 
I got you. I saw you wink the first time, man. I just wanted to make sure you saw it, man. It's important to wink correctly. Oh, they got blue. Never mind. Mother Runes is dead. Confirmed dead. Okay, I don't care about that. There's a lot of beta, but it's buck bait. There's a lot of buck bait beta. You son of a bitch. Buck bait beta. That's buck bait. Hey, buck bait. Buck bait. Don't talk about buck bait. Buck bait beta. That's buck bait beta. <laughs> what is wrong with you? What are you talking about, man? You know what you did. Uh, I'm just talking about buck bait beta. That's all buck bait. That's buck bait. Buck bait. Buck bait. Hey, it's blue green. Why don't you? Why don't you attack your mother? Because I don't know what they have, man. I want to. I want to protect my mentor. Look, he's doing something right now. Look what he did. Okay. God, we gained right. four life. Really not a big deal. Especially when this is our hand. Like, <laughs> all right, glad you used nature's claim on that. That seems a okay. I do like, I do like the main deck nature's claim though. I think it's great. I think their cards like that are great in this format. Always seems to be a target. You always seem to never be able to dance again. Oh. My guilty feet have got no rhythm. Uh oh, they're gonna do some instant. People have against Legion's Landing. It's not even a real card. Um, I think it's a real card. I saw it. We had one. Yeah, my last opponent used an Inquisition on Legion's Landing. This person used a Nature's Claim on Legion's Landing. Are you scared? What are you afraid of? All right, we'll just probe blue whatever you target. I'm probably gonna bounce a land. Okay. I don't like that, but I do. I do assume you have some kind of shenanigans. You're probably just gonna block here, I guess. Yeah, probably better to actually save the vampire, I guess. I don't know. No, then you just trade with your legions. Your uh. No, this guy let this guy get bounced so that we just replay it because we're not doing anything oh. this turn. Yeah, maybe. Oh, library, huh? Well, they only have three cards, so we're good now. Oh, that's aggressive. Very aggressive. They have eight mana right now, which is also kind of scary. <laughs> you streaming would love to see my uh, blank get kicked on YouTube. Oh, I'm just going to laugh at that because that's funny. Let's get a hollowed fountain. No, I ain't paying no two life. Shoot. You don't know me. Oh. Ooh, boy. Pump up the volume. Pump up the mix. Come on, y'all. I don't remember the rest. You're a real Mitch. Is that how it goes? Sure. Look at all these triggies. Oh, you're going to cryptic command something. Oh, my favorite, dude. He betrayed you. Why are you this to us, Mrs. Snakey? I don't know what you said, but yeah, you're right. Pump up the jams and pump up the mix. My name is Mike B. I'm a son of a Mitch. Boo doo 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 doo. All right. I think we're still doing just fine. They do have Venser and Mystic Snake. That's a lot of counter. That's a lot of four mana disruption. At the end of the round, I'll be like, did you have it? And he's going to be like, I don't know. I forgot. You know what that's from? It's from Rounders. It's cool. I've only seen that movie like three times. <sighs> three is more than enough for you to not be such a baby. I really just want to, I want to play this duplicate, but I really don't want to play it on a 2-2. Two -two. Seems bad. I agree. Uh-oh, something's happening. Oh, we're going to duplicate whatever this is, unless it's a... That's a little scary. It's a little nasty. It's old nasty to rasty. That's, uh... 
Oh, they're killing three Ooh, of their things. so greedy. That's so greedy, dude. We get to eat their 9-9? Nine, nine? Man. That's pretty good. They just destroyed one of our lands. I guess they didn't get destroyed. Still. I'm going to... Shinny, 564, five, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brutorino. Yeah, use that ability. <laughs> Heck yeah. They're at 10. Do we get in there for two? No, I think yeah. we just protect the duplicate. They only have two cards in hand. and They have three, four lands right now. That's pretty good for us. Uh, it's definitely, it's not really a mentor deck. We just have mentor in it. All right, they have one card in hand. Seems good. Did you see my background just change? I didn't notice something happened. Something's going on here. <gasps> That's pretty good. Oh, boy. Might have been our best draw. Look at all these triggies. Don't cryptic command it though, bro. Pro blue. What colors is this pro from? Pro blue and green? Hmm, that seems awful good. What do they have? Blue and green? I would have sorted the mentor and just attack with the 9-9. Nine -nine. Yeah, but this almost kills them. Almost. No, it's not it's not game yet. It's close. Cause like we can only give this guy pro blue or pro green and they have a blue and a green Oh, they just concede. Alright. Seems good. Jump around. Like we Jump can't around. give both of these guys protection, so they can definitely block one of them, which is why it's not game. Either way, we still win. Jump around. This might be a Shackles. No, that's definitely a Shackles. <laughs> oh, that's not what I meant. I'm going to bring in Shackles. <clears throat> that's disgusting. You're disgusting. You are a literal savage, disgusting man. <laughs> <laughs> we can bring an Angel of Serenity to counter their Terrestrial on them, just like bounce your three elephants. Manatize so feels Manatize feels terrible in this. What about Supreme Verdict or Wrath of God? Nah. Really? They play Terastodon and kill three of their lands, and we Wrath of God. Yeah, but if they if they're not an idiot next time they kill two of our lands, we probably just can't even play it. I'm just gonna bring it in anyway because I think it's good. Just bribery it. That's what we need to do. Just take out a stupid angel. No one cares about that. <laughs> no one cares about that. Wow, that's so aggressive, dude. Send me an angel. Oh. Did you bring in Wrath or Sabrina? I brought in Wrath and I forgot about the Mystic Snake. Oh, man, you're the worst. I know, it's terrible. This is a keeper, though. This is a good hand. All right, now. When do you want me to send you that angel? Uh, You know, within a week, probably. Wow, that's really late. Oh, yeah, we turn one mana guy. Yeah, it should have been Verdict. I was actually, I was, I was like, ooh, Wrath of God, you can't regenerate, and it's two white instead of two white and a blue, which is so much easier to cast sometimes. So I was just, I was just banking on that. I don't think we've ever had mana issues. I don't want to hear your voice anymore. Can we make it so that I don't have to hear your voice anymore? No. No. I wish that was a soul ring. It was not a soul ring, spoiler alert. Also, Control Magic seems good against them. Although they do have um, Nature's Claim, as we noticed. So they definitely kept in. They, they got a time walk? They only have three cards. Oh, that would be disgusting. I would vomit. Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> right now! Really going to counter this guy? Wow. Actual counter spell. Rough. Is it that rough, though? It's pretty rough. Is it that rough, though? Yes, it's like our whole aggressive play. Now we have, like... 
three really good cards in our hand? Yeah, but like, <laughs> that's not going to be for a while. <laughs> this is two turns away, bro. They have a 2 2 and an 0 1. Oh, they attack you for three? Okay. Well, that's all right. I don't even know if we want to do that then, though. Copy that? Meh. I'd rather just copy Frost Titan. Yeah, that seems better. Just play Jace. That's what I'm doing, man. It's weird to me. Do you go up or down? Uh, I think you go up just to save him. I'll give them a card. Okay. Oof! Okay, well, I guess we're not giving them a card. I was going to give you a card, too. Enjoy your mana, you dir dirtily dirtle McDirtleson. And we just get Frost Titan next turn, which is pretty good. It's pretty gross. They have like seven mana now. Eight mana. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, they can literally turn Astodon on right now. If they do, we're probably dead. No, we just. No, we just. Uh, Phantasmal Image and Control Magic hit. They probably kill our lands. They didn't do that last time. Why do you think they're going to do it this time? Because they realized their mistake? I don't think they did, my friend. My right. Huckleberry friend. Oh, big brims? Guess I hope you don't have a mana leak as your last card. Oh, maybe we should have actually killed the Garrick. That would have been better. How are we going to kill it? We have a Celestial Colonnade right here. Oh. Yeah. But then we would have taken five. But now they get to draw three? Ugh, gross. All right, next turn, we'll kill the Garrick. Yeah, I didn't even see the colony of play. That was probably actually way better. Yep. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Yeah, I think 99.99% .99 of cards would be better if they were Sol Ring. Except for right now. I like our hand better now than if it was a Sol Ring hand. I hope you play something really good that doesn't have an Enter the Battlefield effect, but does affect the board if I leave it in play. And then I want to steal that thing. So not like a Primeval Titan so much, but more like maybe a Consecrated Sphinx. So that I can not only control magic, but I can Phantasmal Image it and draw four cards. That's where I want to be. That's a good place to be. Was that a reasonable thing to say? No, but it's a good place to be. I don't know what you're saying right now. That's pretty good. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, comical. Got him. Send me an angel. Right now. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Don't be time walk. Oh, God. It's good. No, this is a fun game. I think we're just dead, right? <laughs> yeah, they just take infinite turns. We dead. Assuming they don't mess it up. We should have stole this. Now we know to steal this in the future. And we also know to kill Garrick. They just concede. Yeah. I think Shackles is actually pretty good here. They have a bunch of small guys that I would not mind taking. We can take out Gideon of the Trials. I don't care about that. Yeah, that guy's kind of poop anyway. Uh, you're kind of poop, Michael? Only kind of. Uh, you're basically doo-doo. Gross. You're disgusting. Or 
Brown. Brown. You guys hear that cat? He's real loud. Oh, this hand is good. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Whatever. We just need a land or a soul ring or a mox. I think any of those are good for us. If you know what I'm saying. Preferably a white mana. Did it, boys! I don't think we have any reason to play that guy, though. If we get stuck on three, uh, it's we're just fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah. Is this round two or round one? This is round or round three rather. This is two or three. This is two, right? Good talk, good talk. We lost. No, this is game three, yes. I'm asking yeah. if what round it is. Round two. Blah, Jesus. Oh, we did hit a land. Look at that. Lucky us, but I don't want you to Mystic Snake Venser or the other one, so. Yeah, that's a magic hand. Magic hand. Magic hands? Yeah, manager in here, I would be just a blowout, so we'll just wait. Yep, Benser Bounce Bermaz. Sure. No attack, huh? Okay. No attack and miss a land drop. Mm, all right. Well, you have like two other counter spells that I'm afraid of. Feel free to counter this guy. I'm giving it to you as a as a as a token. Snakeeru? Sounds good. Any land would be great because then we can bribery or we can play shackles and keep up shackles and steal one of these guys. Well, now you're attacking. Last turn, no attack. This turn, attack. All right. Hmm. What are the odds you have another counter spell? Probably 100%. No, babe. Interesting. I did not expect that to resolve. You have six cards. You have counter. Oh, you also have counter regular counter spell too. So you have regular counter spell, and um, yeah, I imagine they're going to give us four life here though. Yeah. Okay. Now well, that's annoying. WH chip, WHS chip, thank you so much for saying so, man. Appreciate it. Gonna keep playing guys, I guess, and you're gonna have all your counter spells. Okay. Well, I feel like if you had mana drain, you would have used it there, right? Because four extra mana is pretty good. I feel like we have to bribe her right now. Kitty okay, cat, stop, please. That's pretty good. 
I'm going to cast this just in case we have a mana leak. <sighs> Come on. Uh huh. A little obnoxious. Just a wee bit. So you had to hit a land that turn, I guess, for you to do that. That's pretty good. Definitely blocking Torrential Gear Hulk here. Oh, you're going to do something during my draw step. Okay. Well, you know, yeah. Okay. So we get to resolve something here, which is nice. I guess bribery is what we're, what we're going for here. Because they're clearly taking wrath. Uh, because they've, they've always had more land than us. That's why. We had five lands the turn we played Shack or the turn we played uh We had five we've always had five lands. We've had five lands and we were also we're also about to activate in the same turn. We've always had more land than they have had. Even right now. Terastodon could be very good. Birds of Paradise, Noble Hierarch. I imagine it's just Terastodon here. Mana Drain and Mystic Confluence and Time Walker still in the deck. Soulfire Grandmaster is in their hand. And probably other white cards, I guess. Should have planned this better, but I think it's still fine. One, two, three. All right. This is where they go. Planes, Soulfire Grandmaster. Control control magic on this puts our uh, puts our life at ease a little bit. Did you send me an angel or what, man? Because I need it right now. I can tell. These pets need to be fed. They're getting real angry. They're getting real hangry. Dale, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Preach. Yep. Figured that'd be your only... Your only thingamajig. Remember that time we had a sort of body in mind? And an Elspeth and a Shackles? And none of them, none they of them managed to. They're all gone. Copy your click. He's copying the, he's copying the Venser to bounce the Terastodon, which is his. Yep, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. They don't have enough mana to actually use it though, so that's good. Now they one two three four six. Nope, they're still one off. So that was their draw.
Oh, I'm going to steal that guy for sure. Oh, I guess we might die to the Vendillion click that. Yeah, we no. have to steal the click. No, we can, get, we can take one more. That was an amazing draw. No, it wasn't because we get... Well, yes, because we get a white. We use the white to... Oh, and then they just kill the control magic with like one, two, three, six, seven. They're they're missing a land. If they don't hit a land. Alright. No green no land. How about that? No land off the top. You have missed several land drops. Don't have an extra land. One, three, four, six, seven. All right, looks like we're going to combat. So now we can kill the Vendillion Click, which is nice as long as this Master of the Wild Hunt stays in play. Unless they didn't. Unless they drew Time Walk. Unless they top deck their Time Walk. They did not. We get to go to our turn. All right. Make a Wolfarino. That's a good draw. So tap, 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 tap. We'd have two blockers, block, block. We can make a blocker. <sighs> oh, we're definitely playing that. Actually, we have Revel Arc, so I'll get this guy in the graveyard. I'm just trying to flip this guy so that they can't kill it. I guess they can still kill it with Terastodon, but... The more the more elephants you want to give me is fine, so... So we're not dead yet. We know they have Soulfire and Terastodon in hand. Those are two of their three cards. So now they go kill, they kill Control Magic, Celestial Colonnade, and probably a Danto once they hit their land. Hoss Mania. Glad to hear it, buddy. That's, that's fine. I don't care. I just want to survive. I'm still alive here. Oh, I'm still alive. So these also have life link, which is pretty nice. Right. Agreed. That was actually a great draw, because now we can activate this and still attack with Colonnade. Seems good. Can we attack with everything here is the question. We can shoot this guy. They go block 1-1, one, one, block 3-3. Three, three. They take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And he just kills. Seems bad. Well, they would lose two of these guys. No, they would lose one, but we'd gain a life and we'd have... Yeah, you're right. I don't like their their seven library is really uh, a little scary. Yeah, it's pretty obnoxious, but Ooh, I feel like we're dead. I feel like we're way dead right now. And they are on a two turn clock. No, we can probably kill them next turn with all our guys. End of turn, we kill a blocker, then we kill the other blocker, then they have one guy. I'm just assuming they're going to be able to play their dress. Well, they are, but then they have to kill Control Magic, they have to kill a Danto, they have to kill Celestial Colonnades, so... We have a bunch of attackers if they do that. And they took four? It's going to be White Land and Time Walk, so that they can play their, uh... Interesting. So now you have Soulfire and Terastodon. 
You can't cast either right now because you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Are they just dead? They might just be dead. Well, it depends on what they're, what's in their hand. If they have a time walk, if they if they paid four life for a time walk, then then we can actually kill the bird. Yeah. To prevent them from using the white, it's not bad. Yep, that's what we figured. Yeah, I think we kill the white. Mm hmm. I'll do that at the end of the turn, though. End of turn. And we still have five blockers, so that's pretty good. Soulfire and Terastodon are the cards in your hand. And this guy's tapped, so even if they kill the control magic, they don't get him back. Or they get him back, but they get him back tapped. They could also not be paying attention to their life total and uh, pay another four. That'd be okay. Yeah, I'd be all right. I'd be okay. I have my doubts, but... Same. Our deck has so many live draws right now. Like, Phantasmal Image, Phyrexian Metamorph... One, two, three, four, five. Batter Skull and Equip is, is an option. Stoneforge to get Batter Skull. And, and I think we can probably still equip. One, two, three, yeah, four, two, five. Two. One, two. From does what? He does have a land for the, that land. Sure. It's got to be Terrasted on here, right? Yeah. Yep. Let's see what you target. You almost have to target your own stuff here. If You, you can't give me, like, three more guys, right? He has to call an aid. Has to hit control magic. I mean, he doesn't have to. I mean, we just pick off his guys every single turn, right? Yeah, there's control magic, rule signet, and colonnade, sure. Yeah. Oh, we actually didn't need to land because because this actually... Uh... So we get two wolves and you get one, or two uh, elephants and you get one. That's pretty good. Just five blockers to our... There are two. One, two, three, four, dead? five. One, two, three, four, five. Two get through. Yeah, they're dead. Yeah, they're just dead. All right, cool. Wow, this game was insane. Just in case. Close game. Thanks for the wolves. They have five. If they block the biggest guys, which is four, five, they still take one, two, three, four. Oh, we have actually six guys. Or nine guys, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight. So three guys are getting through, even if they're all one ones. All right. Wow. That was, Woo. A close one. That was a real close one. I didn't think we were going to win that game. That was ridiculous. After this, we'll take a break and we'll feed those guys and then we'll do our... What was the stipulation? Take the worst card in the pack? Yes, unfortunately. After this, we're going to uh, stipulate... Oh, this is a mulligan. But it's got a mox. Uh-huh. Go on. Oh, this one has a mox too. It's so way better. Keep. Just going to keep it. I'll get a second blue. Even if I... Oh, if, if this guy actually... Oh, this is great. On turn... Oh, they're on the play too. Mm -hmm. Turn three, we can play this guy and get a tundra. Or a hollowed fountain, either one. Oh, sick, we drew a barbary. Oh. Hugh, 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 hugh. Oh. Did they miss Lion Drop? No, it's no, their it's turn. Main. Okay. Come on, buddy. Oh, they're not playing anything either? All right. I'm a man who will fight for your honor. Gonna be the hero that you You know this song? I do. It's a Chicago song. This our hand has just gotten so good. It's just so good. Let's get Hollowed Fountain. We're not gonna play anything this turn, so we'll just get the Hollowed Fountain because it's easier in the future. And we'll play an island. Pretty ne sick nasty. Next turn we get to Bribs or Gideon, and if we draw a land, we could do one of these two instead. Probably not this guy though. Oh god, look at my turn three. Let's see let's see what happens. Yeah, that's pretty good. Sodite. 
if you lose, I'm going to be real mad because that's, oh, that's sad. That is real sad. If you kill my knight, though, if you kill my knight, it's less sad. Don't be killing my knight, bro. You did. That's okay. That's what we wanted. I didn't really want you to tap my land down because that would make me sad. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Blunticus. I don't want to be sad. Okay, all of these draws are very good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I wonder if we just go Frost Titan and tap down one of their lands. You really want to bribery, don't you? I do, but I don't know if that's the best play. I feel like it is. Like, it just gets the most value out of their deck, right? Yeah. And we get to see what they have. It could be like Nahiri and playing an Emrakul. Oh my god. Sundering Titan, Worm Coil Engine, Aleshnorn. I think it's Aleshnorn here, right? Worm Coil Engine is the safest. Yeah, but they're just going to tap it every turn. I'd rather have the effect of Aleshnorn. Okay. And they said, ouch. Oh, oh, they got Wildfire in this deck? We're going to... We're definitely clipping this bad boy. Whoop. Give me them scoops. We could also Sundering Titan hit two of their lands. We'd have to hit an island as well. That's fine. I think Sundering Titan probably is the choice. It's so backbreaking. Killing two of their lands is brutal. Is it Aleshnorn or is it Sundering Titan, guys? What do you Aleshnorn think? Aleshnorn kills their creature. And it makes the rest of their deck way worse. Aleshnorn does? What is their... They have Elspeth Knight Arant. Like that. Gideon Jura. Gideon Ally of Zendikar. Banishing Light. Nahiri. Oblivion Ring. Hmm. Nahiri's a tapped artifact, right? Tapped artifact or tapped creature. Aleshnorn has Vigilance, so it gets around Nahiri. They have both Oblivion Ring and Banishing Light, which is obnoxious. Yeah, that answers anything we get, so that doesn't really matter. But if they do, if they... Eh, then we get to kill their other two lands. Killing two lands is so backbreaking. I agree with you. Not an easy choice. Yeah, Sun Worm Coil doesn't do anything in this situation. Makes our frost sign a little worse, but... I mean, by worse, you mean we can't cast it? <laughs> yes. Sure. But, I mean, like, they have no incentive to get rid of this guy because they have... Yeah, they'll just eat all like, their lands. They just get no lands. And without Banishing Light, he's actually pretty hard to deal with. Like, there's no red card that answers him. Or Oblivion Ring. I mean, they have both, so they could draw them. They might have, I mean, it could also have it in hand. Well, no. Wait, because we didn't see their hand. Oh, they drew it. Top deck banishing. Wow, that's that's greedy though, dude. I mean, we still get to play Gideon next turn, which is pretty good. LOL. Um, oops. <laughs> I think they forgot that that triggered their own their own Sundering Titan. Yeah, it's leave the battlefield, so, like, blank any effect. Yeah. There's really no way around Stop. It. Get out of here. You're being real annoying right now. I love you, but you're being annoying. Oh, we can't do that anymore. I, I think they just win the game with the Johnny now. That's really sad. No. Okay, that's a dude. Parental damage target permanent would deal. Do we prevent the two from here or the th we got it's got to be the Johnny right? But then he just activates on something else, so we'll prevent all damage that this guy would deal. And if you want to kill a Johnny to get rid of Gideon, or I wouldn't even get rid of him to deal three to Gideon, that's fine. Oh, yep. So we're coming, we're coming for you, Johnny. God, they got land tax. That's unbelievable. They're t I guess that was in their hand, though, so. That's pretty good.
You got another thing coming. You didn't block that? You just let your Johnny die? Why would you do that to poor old Johnny? Well, here comes their here comes their land their landfall. I mean they still they still have to play in multiple lands. One, two, three. We have yeah, six I mana. Think, I still think we're ahead here. And if we draw an island, this game is like over. I agree with you. I agree with Mitchell. Mitchell Barbobbly Boo. Of the Barbobbly Boos. That's my name. I know. Well, now he's double strike. Oh no. I mean they do kill Gideon, but we have other plans. We can just negative two Gideon and kill the Silverblade Paladin. It's pretty good. What was that noise? That was me scratching my leg. That's weird. That was a weird vinyl noise. It sounded like a scr scratching pants. a record. I understand what it was. I didn't think it was your skin. Well, I needed to explain it to you. You didn't, actually. That's what I'm telling you. Nah, man. You wouldn't know. Okay. You thought I was playing a DJ over here? I still think you... I was doing mm. a heckin' DJ. Gideon's still probably better, right? Yeah, killing this guy is huge. And I don't really want to play the blue because they have three lands and we have three lands, so they don't get to, they don't get to search anymore if we don't... Uh... True. I guess we can leave Colonnade up. You got another one, two, three, four, five, six. Pacow. You got another thing coming. So if they want to play a red, then we can play Frost Titan next turn and tap their red down. What do you do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? My name is Jeff. What do you do with a drunken? My name is Jeff. Hero of Bladehold. That's a good card. That's a scary one. Time to tap that down forever. You've got to know. We could leave it on tap, so they have to attack. And no, because then they make two. They like they make the battle cry guys, and I'm not about that. Or we can duplicate it. We could. That might be better. Definitely want to get that thing off the board. I kind of want to play Frost Titan here, though. Because like, the, if they're forced to attack, that's pretty good. They are forced to attack, but I don't want this guy coming in. Then they make. Like you understand, Gideon dies if they if they attack with this, right? Yeah, that's true. Like, I'd rather not have that happen. But they have a million creatures that I'd rather kill with duplicate, so we're just going to frost tighten it. You got another thing coming. Plus, they get to eat the Knight of the Way Orchid, which is pretty cool. Plus, they need a, you know, well, they have a land. I was going to say they need a land if they have another. They got it right here, bro. Oblivion Ring. Well, they have to draw both Oblivion Ring and Banishing Light, which is. Well, un unlikely it feels like they did draw they've drawn I guess they had a hero no hero blade hold they drew hero blade hold they drew banishing light and I think they had land tax in hand that's good but that ain't gonna do anything sneak attack eh yeah you gotta attack buddy <laughs> you can't you can't get out of this one I get to eat your guy That's pretty interesting. Copy Frost Titan, tap down their mom. Type for six. Or we can tap down their double red. I don't care about their mom. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that better. Plus they have five lands, so we can, can actually play a land here. As well? Um, one, two, three, four, five, activate, and then post combat. Yeah, we could do that. Seems good. Yeah, we'll tap down the double red. You got another thing coming.
I definitely know that song where you have like part of a song stuck in your head. No red for you. One, two, three, and we have five lands. They have five lands, so we're good on land. Seems good. Oh, they played a plains. That is not that is not a oh, mountain. Oh, uh, what happens if you image Gideon while he's a dude? That is a good question. I mean, I think it would make a copy that it would just die. Maybe you would just die. Do you ever think about that? Oh, dang. Also, there'd be legendary rules, so that wouldn't really matter. We're just going to go ham here and attack with a million. I want to make all my friends. They have lightning helix. We know that. Oh, all right. We just win. Let's leave the leech tapped on their block and they lose. Well, they could give it pro they, yeah, but they could give it pro blue in response. Did you ever think about that, smart yeah, guy? I mean, they could do that, but then it'd be tapped, so... <sighs> All right, this deck seems scary. We're going to bring in Relic Order because they have... Sneak attack aid. S bribery seems OP in this matchup. Mm -hmm. So does Duplicant. Do we all like Wrath of God? Nah, he's not really that vulnerable to it. I mean... If the worst they're doing is like a Leshnorn or Worm Coil Engine or Sundering Titan, I guess it's fine. We can also source for a Spyglass. And we can name Gideon Ally of Zendikar or Elspeth or... I mean, we have Elspeth, but... Um, naming Sneak Attack's pretty good. Yeah. Just kind of a dirtily card. Plus, I guess we get to see their hand, too, so... Probably cut the Legion's Landing. Or the small Gideon. I don't know which one's better. I don't think either one's that great. Well, we got to cut two things, because we also oh, brought in Relic Order. Go. Boom. Got it. I don't think I care about Wall of Omens. Maybe I do. Nah, it's not good. Oh, we can also name, yeah, a Johnny, a Johnny Vengeance was also a thing that we saw. Yes. So we have a Johnny Vengeance. Land tax. Um, what else do we see that wasn't on here? Sneak attack. Mm -hmm. I think that was it. Knight of the White Orchid. And Silver Blade. Those are the cards we saw that were not in the deck at the time. Ta knows what's going on, my dude. My Nate. Always a pleasure. Oh, I like him. this hand's fine. A little slow, but we got a relic order. If they go land tax, we got it. See it like you do. Cause it's a you, babe. Playing out the land tax. I always hope they kept like one land land tax hand and then they're just going to be like, oh darn. That'd be brutal. Oh my god, if they if they skip a land drop too to play. Oh, they didn't. Dang it. They ain't playing those games, boy. They ain't playing those games, boy. I think we still take it. Um, We have nothing to play next turn, so we can actually wait. If they miss a land drop, we'll take it. The problem is if they never, if they always keep pace with us, that we have no reason to take it. Right. See, like we, like they're never activating it at this point. But like, if they play sneak attack, I'd much rather take sneak attack. That's a dude. That's a duder. The strong boy. I still don't think we care about it. Yeah, but if they don't play land next turn, we're going to have to play one to control magic. I'm going to be taking four for the whole game. Also, this guy having pro red is pretty relevant. Yeah, that's a, that's a thing. And they can just exile our control magic. Oh, God, that's disgusting. Zagon, what's going on? Doesn't have to be tapped. No, enchantments never have to be tapped because enchantments don't tap in general. Oh, that's true. Because that would be a really weird requirement to have to exile an enchantment that's tapped. Well, that's a permanent that never has to tap, so why would I exile it? I don't understand. Spies is time. Yeah, especially because if they do want to exile this to get it back, like it's tapped, so whatever. 
Oh, it's pro black and green, not pro red. I'm thinking of Phyrexian, uh, Phyrexian Crusader. The other one. That one would be good. Red white would be good here. My bad. Yeah, I don't like Wall of Omens because it doesn't block this guy and it also doesn't block a Silver Blade Paladin that's been uh, soul bonded. So, like, it's really. If you look at their deck, it really doesn't block that much. Not well. Yeah. Oh, a Banishing Light. Why aren't you just using a Hiri there? That's interesting. Wait, they cast Nahiri and then they didn't use Nahiri last turn? That's interesting. Didn't want to discard anything, I guess? Well, you don't have to. It's you may discard. You still plus two it. Oh. Now we can Relic Warder their, their Banishing Light. Oh, that's a dude. Mentor plus that. We could just get in and kill this, actually. That seems better. And then we can just attack Nahiri next turn. Doesn't kill her, but... Soulbond should always be referred to by its Japanese translation, Make Relation. Uh, these two are going to make relation? Oh, that's intimate. Yeah, see, I figured they actually had the second one for Gideon. So now we can Relic Order that one. But now this is going to be a problem. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. They can get whatever they want next turn. But there's not that many things that are great. Worm Coil is fine. Sundering Titan is fine. And Alesh Norn is fine. All of those things are fine to just get and put them in their hand at the cost of sacrificing Nahiri. Don't they get to cast it for free or something like that? Yeah. But it goes, you know, they just put it in the battlefield, it gains haste, and then you return it to your hand. Ah. So they get a one trick pony out of it? Right. So they kill two of our lands. If they do that and they play Sundering Titan, they kill an, a, a one of their mountains and two of our lands. Which is fine. They can't get Mirren Crusader. Avalanche Riders is fine. Brimaz is fine. Aleshnorn is fine. I think we just play Archangel of Thune here, to be quite honest. It doesn't die to Aleshnorn. Oh, we gave them lands, though. Dang it. I shouldn't have played a land there. That was my bad. I got I got lazy because of the stupid because they haven't gotten a single land off of it yet. That's annoying. Did you hear what I said? No. I said it's annoying. Say it again. You're annoying. Wow. Yeah, get wrecked. That's Rudaroo. You're Rudaroo. They did alt. Hmm. Giving me... Yeah, that's fine. No blocks. I'll take four. That's a weird trade. I mean, you get to keep Aleshnorn. But then we can actually bust this and now we can get the Aleshnorn. So that's pretty good too. I, I feel like she's dead. Oh, I see. Now we're dead. How? Oh, this gets bounced to their hand. They have nothing in play. I mean, they have two lands. We have two lands. They attack for four. What land do they play this turn? Mountain, I think. Yeah, they played a mountain. Okay. That's actually pretty Not a bad good. draw. I think we actually just play this and then play Monastery Mentor. I think we just play Land Mentor, right? I don't want them to go. I don't want them to land tax again, I guess. Like, they're going to play a thing next turn anyway. But we give up the value of the Soul Ring trigger for the Mentor. Yeah, you're right.
I don't think I care about them getting lands, I guess. Yeah, it's not really that big a deal. Oh, we know they have a Leshnorn in hand, so if we're actually able to steal their Leshnorn when we have Monastery Mentor in play, well, that's not going to ever happen, I guess. He said weird game here. Oh, that was like six minutes ago. Four minutes ago. They did not play anything. They played a mountain, and they have four lands in hand that we know about. Why'd you get back Gideon here? I have no reason to play lands. You do though. You do though. Gideon, ally of Zendikar. Uh, they can't sneak attack until they have five mana, not four, so. Get a little of this guy. Woo, boy. Yep. Oh, now we get to play a land again. Gideon will take two. I will not block with my 2-2. Two -two. Elspeth would be nice here. You got it. Colonnade's also fine. I guess we're going ham here. Indeed. Put you to six. Now this is that is match three, right? Yes, we're doing well with our blue white. All the blue white decks I've drafted have been very good. Like, even if they're not heavily counter-based, they've all been surprisingly well. So this guy's dead, I'm sure. Actually, no chance you're going to activate that guy. Yeah, you probably shouldn't wake up at noon if you have a 9, 10, and 11 a.m. class. I, I agree with that assessment. Sneak attack. So four of the, we know f two of their cards in their hand, which means out of the four, one of them would have to be sneak attack. One of them would have to be a big fat fat. You have to block a Gideon here, which is great for us. And if we draw any spell, we just win. Actually, I guess we can just attack with Rebel Arc, right? Colony, but sure. That's what I meant. I don't know why. I know why I said Rebel Arc because it's in our hand. I think that's game. Come on. Don't have lightning bolt. If you have a lightning bolt, you block here and you... Yeah, all right. Nice. Three. Oh, baby. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys are enjoying the content on YouTube, please, please feel free to click those like and subscribe buttons. Smash them, if you will. And I'll see you next time. Do it a smash. Do it a smash.